Hello students, today's agenda is to check homework. We'll be learning about explicit formulas and you will be able to do 7.5. Today students will be able to use and apply explicit formulas and identify the type of sequence from the explicit formulas. Uh, when it refers to type of sequence, it means either geometric or arithmetic. Okay, so let's start with this scenario. Imagine that you have 40 bacteria on the first hour. They double every hour. How many will you have on the 24th hour? So take a minute to copy it. And so what is my initial point? So we're gonna try <clears throat> to start writing the explicit formula. Remember that for the explicit formula, we need the initial point and we also need the common ratio. And also during class, I've been calling this common ratio the pattern. It's just what's happening, right? The pattern. It's the same thing. So the initial point is what we start with. So it would be 40 bacteria. And it says that it doubles every hour. So that will be what's happening to it. So it doubles every hour. It means multiply by two. And so for my explicit formula, I'm going to write F of N equals the initial point, which is 40, the common ratio, which is, we're gonna multiply by two. And remember that when we multiply, then we put N minus one, but it's gonna be as a power, okay? So that's gonna be N minus one, okay? So, that's going to be my explicit formula. However, they are asking how many bacteria will you have on the 24th hour? Remember that if it was the recursive formula, then we would have to do um, f of 1, f of 2, f of 3, f of 4, all the way to f of 24. I mean, f of 23 to be able to figure out 24. However, with the explicit formula, we can directly figure out uh, the, the number of bacteria on that specific day. We don't have to do one by one by one. Okay, so we're gonna use the explicit formula. We're going to replace, instead of n, we're gonna have 24, because that's the number or the, the hour that we want to figure out. And so it's gonna be F of 24 equals 40, which is what I start with, multiply by two because it doubles, doubles means multiply by two, and then N minus one, the N refers to this hour. So it's gonna be 24 minus one. And so F of 24 is equal to 40 times 2 to the 24 minus 1 is 23. And remember, this the reason for which is 23 is because on the first day, if you recall from previous lessons, on the first day, we don't have uh, this doubled. It's until the second hour that that has doubled. Okay, so f of 24 is equals to 40 times to do the 23rd 